In October 2024, Tesla took a bold step toward a future that feels like it was ripped from the pages of a cyberpunk novel, something straight out of Blade Runner. At their, We, Robot, event, held on a Warner Brothers studio lot in Burbank, California, Tesla unveiled a vision that blurred the line between science fiction and reality. They showcased their Optimus humanoid robot, a sleek cyber cab robot taxi, and a Roboven prototype, all powered by an artificial intelligence system that's learning, adapting, and reshaping what we think machines can do. Like the fictional Tyrell Corporation in Blade Runner, which promised, more human than human, replicants, artificial beings who could work, care, create, and live alongside us, Tesla is building machines that challenge the boundaries between human and robot. These aren't just tools for specific tasks, they're versatile, intelligent systems designed to learn and evolve, capable of being laborers, companions, builders, or whatever society needs. But unlike Blade Runner's replicants, which stirred unease by being too human, Tesla's creations are real, rolling off production lines and preparing to transform factories, cities, and economies. Optimus is already moving materials in Tesla's plants, and by June 2025, fully autonomous robot axis are set to hit the streets of Austin, Texas, with no human drivers. This isn't a distant dream, it's happening now, and it's forcing us to ask big questions about work, wealth, and what it means to be human in a world where machines might do everything better, faster, and cheaper. The Blade Runner comparison isn't just poetic, it's a lens to understand Tesla's ambitions. In Ridley Scott's 1982 film, replicants were bioengineered humanoids created by the Tyrell Corporation to serve humanity's needs, colonizing planets, performing dangerous jobs, or providing companionship. They were so lifelike that they sparked ethical debates, were they tools or people? Could they feel, dream, or rebel? The Tyrell Corporation's slogan, More Human Than Human, captured their promise and their threat. Replicants weren't just machines, they were mirrors of humanity, reflecting our desires and fears. Tesla's Optimus and its AI-driven vehicles aren't bioengineered, but they echo this vision. Optimus, a humanoid robot standing about 5 feet 8 inches tall, is designed to perform dangerous, repetitive, or boring tasks, from carrying parts in factories to potentially cooking or caregiving in homes. At the We Robot event, Optimus robots mingled with guests, served drinks, and danced, though reports later revealed they were partly teleoperated by humans, a detail Tesla wasn't fully transparent about. Still, videos shared by Tesla in December 2024 showed Optimus navigating uneven terrain autonomously, catching itself when it slipped, and relying on neural networks and sensors, not remote control. This suggests real progress, even if it's not yet the fully independent android of science fiction. Like replicants, Optimus is built to be versatile. Unlike traditional industrial robots, think of the robotic arms welding cars in factories, Optimus isn't locked into one job. Its humanoid form, with two arms, hands, and legs, lets it move through human environments, from assembly lines to living rooms. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, has said Optimus could eventually do anything humans don't want to do, from mowing lawns to babysitting. At the We Robot event, he estimated its price at $20,000 to $30,000, less than a car, making it affordable for businesses and maybe even households. This versatility mirrors Blade Runner's replicants, who weren't just laborers but caregivers, performers, and soldiers. But where replicants were designed to blend in, even hiding among humans, Optimus is openly mechanical, its purpose clear, to augment or replace human labor. The question is whether this makes it less unsettling, or more. Tesla's full self-driving technology, the backbone of its cybercab robot taxi and broader AI platform, is another piece of this replicant-like puzzle. FSD allows Tesla vehicles to drive autonomously, navigating complex urban environments with cameras and neural networks, no radar or light are needed. At the We Robot event, Tesla demonstrated 19 cybercabs and 29 Model YS, all fully autonomous, shuttling over 2,000 guests across 1,300 trips in a controlled studio lot. These vehicles, especially the cybercab, a sleek, two-seat, no-steering-wheel EV priced under $30,000, 
represent Tesla's vision of a driverless future. Musk announced during Tesla's Q4 2024 earnings call on January 29, 2025, that unsupervised FSD, requiring no human intervention, will launch as a paid ride-hailing service in Austin by June 2025, with plans to expand to California and other U.S. regions later that year. This is a big leap from supervised FSD, which still needs a human ready to take over. Musk claimed Tesla's cars are already operating unsupervised FSD at its Fremont factory, driving to loading areas autonomously, though this is on private property at low speeds, not public roads. The speed of FSD's progress is striking. Skeptics once called it a pipe dream, pointing to Musk's unfulfilled promises, like his 2019 claim of a million robot access by 2020. But FSD version 12.5.2, released in September 2024, improved miles between interventions by threefold, and version 13, rolled out in October 2024, is said to be 500% better than its predecessor, needing fewer human corrections. Every Tesla with FSD is a data collector, logging billions of miles and feeding Tesla's Dojo supercomputer, which processes real-world scenarios, roadwork, aggressive drivers, sudden detours, to make the fleet smarter overnight. This shared learning is what makes Tesla's AI unique. When one Tesla encounters a new situation, the entire system adapts, much like a replicant learning from experience. Musk has compared older FSD versions to a toddler, but today's system, he says, is growing up fast. By June 2025, when Austin's robot axis hit the streets, Tesla aims to prove its AI can handle the chaos of real-world driving without a human in the loop. This AI isn't just for cars. The same neural networks powering FSD are being adapted for Optimus, allowing it to learn tasks through observation and experience. At Tesla's 2021 AI Day, Musk revealed Optimus as a logical extension of Tesla's robotics work, noting that Tesla's cars are already robots on wheels. By 2022, a prototype could walk, by 2023, it was gripping objects and sorting materials, and by December 2023, Optimus Gen 2 could handle delicate tasks like picking up an egg. In 2024, Optimus began working in Tesla's factories, moving parts and learning on the job. Musk's timeline is ambitious, 10,000 Optimus units in Tesla's factories by 2025, sales to other companies in 2026, and mass production of millions, even billions, by 2027 or beyond. He's even floated sending an Optimus to Mars in 2026 via a SpaceX Starship, a nod to replicants' off-world roles in Blade Runner. While Musk's timelines often slip, he's admitted to being optimistic, the trajectory is clear, Tesla is building an AI that can drive, walk, and work, with the potential to reshape entire industries. The Blade Runner parallel deepens when you consider the societal stakes. Replicants weren't just technological marvels, they raised questions about labor, identity, and power. In the film, they were enslaved, given four-year lifespans to prevent rebellion, yet some developed emotions and sought freedom. Tesla's machines won't rebel, they're not programmed for sentience, but their impact could be just as disruptive. Musk has said Optimus could produce an age of abundance, where goods and services are so cheap that poverty vanishes. At $20,000 to produce, Though market prices could be higher, Optimus could be cheaper than a year's salary for many workers. Businesses might replace warehouse staff, retail clerks, or construction crews with robots that don't tire, strike, or need benefits. Musk's vision is exponential, if production scales to 100 million units a year, as he predicts, Optimus could flood the labor market, collapsing the cost of human work. This isn't traditional automation. Steam engines replaced horses, assembly lines outpaced artisans, and computers sidelined clerks, but each wave created new jobs, factory workers, programmers, analysts. Optimus, however, is a general-purpose robot. It's not a single-purpose tool like a Roomba or a chatbot, it's every tool in one. It can clean, cook, build, repair, or assist, adapting to new tasks as its AI learns. If it succeeds, what jobs are left for humans? Musk has hinted at a radical solution, 
Universal Basic Income, UBI, where governments or corporations provide a stipend to everyone, no strings attached, because robots have taken the jobs. This isn't a fringe idea. In 1970, Richard Nixon nearly passed a version of UBI in the U.S. In 2019, presidential candidate Andrew Young championed it, and tech leaders like Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos have suggested automation might force its adoption. Without UBI, a world without work risks mass unemployment, homelessness, and inequality on a scale we've never seen. But who pays for UBI? If Tesla and other robot makers dominate, their profits could be taxed to fund it, but corporations rarely part with wealth willingly. In Blade Runner, the Tyrell Corporation wielded immense power, controlling replicants and the labor market. If Tesla owns the robots, it could control the workforce, concentrating wealth in the hands of a few. This is where the dystopian fears creep in. Science fiction has long warned of AI takeovers, but the real threat might be quieter, a world where robots work, corporations profit, and humans are left with nothing to sell but their time, time that's worthless when machines do everything better. The wealthy could own the means of production, while the rest scramble in a jobless economy. Tesla's journey to this point is a story of relentless ambition and calculated risks. The company didn't start as a robotics firm. In 2003, Tesla was founded to build electric vehicles, a mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. But Musk always saw Tesla as more than a carmaker. In 2014, Tesla introduced Autopilot 1.0, a driver assistance system that could steer, brake, and avoid collisions. It was impressive but limited, relying on pre-programmed rules. In 2016, Autopilot 2.0 added more cameras and processing power, but it still wasn't learning. The real shift came in 2019 with Tesla's custom AI chip, a neural processor that handled real-world data in real time. This was Autopilot 3.0, the moment Tesla became an AI company. In 2021, Tesla made a controversial move, it ditched radar and lidar, sensors used by rivals like Waymo and Cruise, and went all in on cameras with Tesla Vision. Critics called it reckless, arguing that cameras alone couldn't handle the complexity of driving. Tesla argued that human drivers rely on eyes, so AI should too. The bet paid off. By 2023, FSD Beta 12 stopped relying on hand-coded rules and started training itself, learning from billions of miles driven by Tesla owners. The Dojo supercomputer, purpose-built to process this data, gave Tesla an edge, analyzing edge cases, rare scenarios like a deer darting across a highway, that no human could encounter in a lifetime. FSD Beta 13, released in October 2024, pushed further, anticipating and adapting to situations with human-like intuition. This AI wasn't confined to cars. At Tesla's 2021 AI Day, Musk announced Optimus, framing it as a natural evolution. Tesla's cars were already robots, he said, so why not put that brain in a humanoid body? The first prototype in 2022 was clunky, but by 2023, it was walking and sorting. Optimus Gen 2, unveiled in December 2023, was 30% lighter, with hands boasting 11 degrees of freedom, capable of delicate tasks. By 2024, Optimus was working in Tesla's factories, learning to handle real-world tasks. The We Robot event in October 2024 showcased its potential, even if teleoperation raised questions about its autonomy. The Austin Robotaxi launch is another milestone. Texas's lax regulations, no state permits needed for autonomous vehicles, make it an ideal testing ground. Unlike California, where Waymo and Cruise logged millions of miles to secure driverless permits, Texas requires only registration and insurance. Musk's move to Austin in 2021, shifting Tesla's headquarters from California, was strategic, aligning with his push against government oversight. The service will start with 10 to 20 Tesla-owned Model 3s and Model Ys, possibly including cybercabs, operating in a geo-fenced area. Musk says it'll be cheaper than a bus ticket, with operating costs dropping to 20 cents per mile. But challenges loom. 
Tesla hasn't applied for California's commercial robotaxi permits, and regulators are probing FSD after crashes, including a fatal one in 2024. Critics question Musk's promises. He's been touting robot access since 2019, and FSD's delays have fueled skepticism. Waymo, with 150,000 weekly rides in Phoenix, San Francisco, and Los Angeles, is the leader, while Tesla is still catching up. Analysts like those at Seeking Alpha noted a tepid response to the We Robot event, with Tesla's stock dropping 9% the next day. Some, like Ross Gerber of Gerber Kawasaki, argue Tesla's focus on robots and autonomy strays from its sustainable energy mission. Others, like Stiefel Steven Gengaro, see Optimus and FSD as growth drivers, potentially making Tesla the world's most valuable company. Morgan Stanley projects a $5 trillion humanoid robot market by 2050, with Tesla well-positioned. Tesla's story is one of vision and hubris. From autopilot in 2014 to Optimus in 2024, it's redefined what a car company can be. The We Robot event wasn't just a product launch, it was a declaration that AI and robotics are the future. Like Blade Runner's Tyrell Corporation, Tesla is building machines that blur the line between tool and worker. Optimus won't dream or rebel, but it will change the world, quietly, efficiently, and irreversibly. Whether that world is utopian or dystopian depends on who controls the robots and how society adapts. For now, humanity holds the wheel, but the road ahead is uncharted, and Tesla's driving fast.